Well, it's nice to see my asylum buddies back in action. And just like last year's apocalypse, the dynasty that was freaking asylum, we're walking out on top tonight. A lot has changed since last year's apocalypse. We had that long hiatus. I became the longest reigning WAW champion of all time, mostly because of the hiatus. Captain Vince Torello managed to get himself eliminated twice at Lord of the Ring. That was a good one. Uh, Carnage managed to speak longer and slower than he has in the past. And we've just got a bunch of noobs straight off the boat. And speaking of noobs, nothing has been more disrespectful or disorienting, really, than having a noob, Sergeant Pepper, take me out of action for the entire summer. And through all the commotion last week, I don't think he fully understood my challenge. Since he wants to take me out of the submission hold, I went to Moody Star and I said, Hey, Moody Star, I want a submission match with uh, Charles in Charge for Apocalypse. And she okayed it, so here we are tonight. Apocalypse 2007 submission match. I could beat you in a variety of ways, all right? A leg lock in armbar. Ooh, I'm gonna beat you with a surfboard. Full Nelson, cross fish chicken wing. Koji clutch, a sleeper. Or maybe I'll beat you with a sharpshooter. I'll make you tap just like the bitch you are. That's how you're gonna tap to the figure flax. Olay, bitches. Uh -huh. Here we are. Apocalypse 2007, Buck. Yes. One of our easiest title defense. <laughs> DWI. That's fun. That's fun. DWI. Let's put it this way. Uh, I'd much rather take a nap. Yeah, I'm kind of. I didn't. I didn't get that much sleep. Neither did I. I. I I'd rather use a pillow. But if I have to use this, which we're not going to. <laughs> you know, hypothetically, if I were to, <laughs> whatever. Anything goes. This is Apocalypse Now. We are the greatest team champions of all time. <laughs> all right, wait, how, how's it going? Benny Beedy Beachy. We came. We saw. We conquered. Yeah, well, I got a little Latin saying myself. Simplify. Do or die. <laughs> Cakewalk. It's going to be great. DWI, surrender or be destroyed. On July 21st, Sergeant Charles Hatchet made his WAW debut and would do so in big fashion, defeating Freakin' Flax in the qualifying round of the Apocalypse Tournament. He would not stop with a victory as he and his Full Metal Jacket teammates would embark on an attack that would put Freakin' Flax out of action for the better part of a month. This is what you get when you mess with FMJ, buddy. After nearly a month on the injured list, Freakin' Flax returned on August 18th with a challenge for Charles Hatchet. Hatchet, Hatchet! I got some news that hey, Pop, I want a match with you! That's right, everybody but the movie star. Guess what? Next week, Apollo 2007, Freakin' Flax versus Sergeant Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> And what we decide under submission match rules. A tree first, hailing from Montezuma, Georgia. The top of the most freaking flax. And here we go. The action continues here at Apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a submission match between freaking flax and Sergeant Charles Hatchet. Freaking flax was put out of action at the hands of Charles Hatchet and FMJ with a knee injury, so he wants to make Hatchet submit here tonight. And freaking Flax throwing out the water bottles. That is a hot night here in Apocalypse. Water bottles flying, freaking Flax making his way to the ring here for the submission match with Charles Hatchet. Freaking Flax's second match back. And Freakin' Flax making a donation to the charity, hey, 
Even goats are charitable. Say whatever you want about freaking Flax. He just donated to charity. He's a good man. He was a good man anyway, but what the hell. Let's take it down to the introduction of Charles Hatchet. And we do thank Black for a generous donation. And here comes the man responsible for putting freaking Flax out of action for a few weeks with that knee injury. It is the member of Full Metal Jacket, Sergeant Charles Hatchet. This guy's an arrogant little prick, isn't he? Kind of fits in with FMJ perfectly. That old group's a bunch of arrogant pricks. So the rules of this one are simple, ladies and gentlemen. The only way to win is by submission, which means no count outs, no disqualifications, no pinfalls, no knockouts, nothing. No count outs, nothing. And here we go, this one's underway. Submission rules, freaking Flax and Charles Hatchet. Hatchet gets taken down by Flax to start this one off. Charging with a clothesline, he gets caught and he gets taken down by freaking Flax. Drops all hold by the go with the most into an ankle lock, going for an early submission. But Hatchet rolls out of the way and onto the floor. Hatchet making a mistake, talking trash on the floor, and he gets drop kicked by freaking Flax. Flax leaping off at Hatchet. Hatchet now swings at freaking Flax, and Irish whip into the brick wall. Freaking Flax now fighting back. He gets hit back. Flax swings again, and again. And Irish whip. Reversed by Hatchet, catches Flax with a knee in the stomach and sends him into the ring post. What do we got here? Rib breaker across the shoulder by Charles Hatchet. Hatchet now in the ring, stomps on freaking Flax. Abdominal stretch applied on freaking Flax. Hatchet adding in a little insult to injury, hammering away on those exposed ribs. Freaking Flax reverses out into an abdominal stretch of his own, but Hatchet's still trying to fight, and he hip tosses Flax over, but Flax hooks the arm. And now he's got it. Thought he had a body scissors there. He gets caught with a knee to the head. And again, two knees breaking that arm bar that freaking Flax had locked on Charles Hatchet. Irish whip sends Flax off the ropes. Boot to the midsection by the sergeant. Got him up on the shoulders again. Power slam by Charles Hatchet. Break him up. And this is the same move that injured freaking Flax in the first place. This could be all for the go with the most. He could suffer his second defeat in two matches with Charles Hatchet, but the rookie makes a rookie mistake and let's go. Trying to re redeem himself for that mistake by going right into a sleeper hold. Freaking Flax now up on his feet, elbows to the midsection, backing Hatchet off the ropes, sends him off the opposite side. Hatchet gets taken down. And a sleeper hold by Freaking Flax. Sent off the ropes by Hatchet, and Hatchet catches Flax with a sleeper hold. Got him in a dragon sleeper set up. Reverse suplex. Driving freaking Flax down into the mat. Flax is down and Hatchet is up. 
Hatcher with a kick to the hip. He gets caught by freaking Flax. That leg gets caught, freaking Flax, dragon twist. Irish whip by Flax, sends him off the ropes, misses the clothesline. Hatchet tries, he misses. Teacup, both men go for the ride, and both men are down. As it was noted, there are no count outs in this match. Red Gun not counting, both men have as much time as they need to get back up to their feet. Both men slowly cooking, both men back up on their feet. Flax hits first, Hatchet hits second. Both men now trading the punches back and forth here. Freaking Flax now trying to get the momentum. He's back and Hatchet into the rope, sends him off the opposite side. Flying clothesline takes the sergeant down. And what do we got here? Head scissors take over by freaking Flax. Time to end it! Come on, Dad! Give the freaking Flax! Here we go! Toss! My! Freaking Flax calling for the toss salad. Hatchet now going for that napalm bomb. Flax reverses out. He's got it hooked. Could it be? Toss salad on Charles Hatchet. Flex. Freaking Flax now gonna go for the yeah. figure Flax. He's got it locked on. This could be all for Charles Hatchet. Will he submit here? Hatchet realizing he's far from the wait a second. Wait a second, Captain Vincent Torello breaks up the submission, in fact, rolls it in the favor of Charles Hatchet, while Major Morpheus Morenzi distracted the referee. And Flex turns it back over. Back in his favor, the figure Flex is locked on. And what the hell? Morenzi pulls Red Guy out to the floor, Sorello grabbing a steel chair as Hatchet taps out. And now we got Full Metal Jacket assisting Charles Hatchet here in this submission match. And they're gonna look to put freaking Flax out of action permanently here. Full Metal Jacket has the rest of the body. Charles Hatchet's gonna do damage here. Wait a second, here's DWI. DWI running FMJ out of the ring, but Shotso Bannigan's in the ring. He better watch out, he might get clocked with a chair. Well, I guess O'Bannigan and Hatch are not gonna swing at each other as O'Bannigan gives chase. That's kind of awkward. Oh, but that's awkward for Hatchet as he just got hit right in the knee with a steel chair. He is down and he is hurting. Freaking Flax now. He's getting it hooked on once again. The figure Flax. Will he tap out? Nobody here to help him now. And he does. Sergeant Charles Hatchet taps out and freaking Flax walks out of with a victory from Apocalypse for a second straight year in a row. Last year, he defended the WNW Championship. This year, he defends his honor by making the man who put him out of action for a month, making that same man tap out to the figure Flax. What a victory for freaking Flax here in Apocalypse 2007. Charles Hatchet collecting himself. FMJ couldn't save him. He became a victim of the figure flex. What a victory for freaking flex, but coming up next, 
It is gonna be the Team Stapler match between Joey Staples and Dirty Dealer and the team of Rob Marsh and JT Lambeau.